Design Coordinates Incorporated, Construction Project Managers. Hi, I'm Kiana Corpus. My name is Hannah Mariz Manjola. And I am Darren Rosel Pastor. His strong vision to deliver quality construction project management led him to establish a design coordinates in corporation in 1978. DCI is founded by architect Oscar S. Salvation. He graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in architecture from the University of Santo Tomas. In his badge, he placed number 9 in the licensure examination for architects. Soon after passing the board exam, he worked for a petroleum company in Tokyo, Japan. The breadth and depth of his experience in the industry, both local and overseas, propelled DCI to become the leading construction project manager in the country. Today, his enduring legacy remains to be the driving force in DCI's continuing commitment to provide the highest standards in construction project management. DCI was established to address the need for professional construction project managers and construction project management in the Philippines. The Lead Committee of Design Coordinates Incorporation Jose Oscar O. Salvacion President Senen Michael O. Salvacion Managing Director Franz F. Zibert, Managing Director Felisberto L. Gancaico, Managing Director Jennifer C. Esquivel, Managing Director Vision DCI will consistently be the trusted construction project manager and partner in nation building by providing quality service exceeding expectations. Mission Guided by our shared values of discipline, cooperation, and integrity, we are committed to provide the highest quality construction project management service that meets cost, time, and quality objectives in all phases of project delivery. Policy DCI's policy is to manage and deliver every construction project in a timely and cost-effective manner, meeting expectations consistently, and cognizant of the importance of a natural, healthy, and safe environment. Corporate Values Discipline, Cooperation, and Integrity What they are known for is the City of Dreams, Manila. How they do it. Initiating. Phase where high-level planning is done given the project constraints, scope, time, cost, quality, risk, resources, and customer satisfaction. Planning. From initiating to detailed planning, in which plans on how to execute, monitor and control, and close the project are done. Executing. Process involving the project team completing works in accordance to the plans made. Monitoring and controlling. While work is being executed, the project is being tracked and directed with respect to the baselines. Closing, where works in the project, including procurement, are completed. Initiating phase. For the budget, Melco Crown Philippines revealed in a disclosure to the Philippine Stock Exchange that it had raised the budget for its casino resort to 37 billion pesos from 28 billion pesos. It is uploading up to 485.2 million shares at 11.30 pesos to 11.70 pesos each. Stockholders are Meralco, Global Professional Services Company, Macau's Melco Crown Entertainment, 
Premium Leisure and Amusement Corporation, Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation, and Forest Pack. Establish a culture of sustainability across our businesses. Embed sustainability in its operations, sustainability is a core value. The second phase in the project management life cycle is the planning phase. This involves creating a set of plans to help guide the team through the implementation and closure phases of this project which is the City of Dreams. In this planning phase involves building hotel towers which are planned to be named Nobu Hotel Manila, Nua Manila, and the Hyatt Regency Manila. It was also in the planning phase to build a casino resort, which was planned to be dome-like structure called Fortune Egg, and also planned to build international nightclubs in it, namely Chaos and Pangea. And then they also planned building a shopping mall, which is supposedly 80,000 square meters. This includes the shops at the boulevard and the theme park called the Dream Play. And then, there's also the entertainment area, which includes the local and the international restaurants. The plans created during this phase help the project to manage time, cost, quality, changes, risk, and related issues. The next phase is the project execution, in which the plan designed in the prior phases of the project life is put into action. The soft opening of the said project, which is the City of Dreams, happened on December 14, 2014, and the grand opening happened on February 2, 2015. There were prominent hotels built, which were the Premier Hyatt City of Dreams Manila, the Boutique Nobu Hotel, and the six-star luxury accommodation Nua Manila. There is also an interactive play space, which is the DreamWorks Dream Play, the world's first DreamWorks-inspired education-based interactive play space. The goal of the executing process group is to evaluate processes, analysis, plans, and procedures in order to complete the project in accordance with the project specifications as outlined in the master project plan. I am Kiana Corpus and now I am going to tackle about the monitoring and controlling process of the project. The completion time of the City of Dreams Manila is on June 2014 and it cost $1.3 billion which is approximately 60 trillion pesos. This City of Dreams Manila is dynamic and innovative resort complex. Nakuda Industries and Lacwell Systems first become involved with the project in November 2013 too as is the current issues at the podium level. The deck level for amenities and resorts, which is surrounded with the towers and sited on the top of the luxurious gaming area. Consultation and planning of works were carefully analyzed due to existing construction issues which are needed to change, and that is the removal of existing waterproofing membrane followed by the contradictions of having the system exposed or non-exposed. Ranges of bandage system were introduced to start of works, and there is is that not knowing what resorts would results rather would look like. And now the issues arose which is the majority of the leakage issue with the previous waterproofing membrane was observed on the joints and podium perimeter along the tower walls. Temporary waterproofing was the first resort for the issue and eventually, with all the issues addressed, application of the permanent waterproofing commenced. 
Specification of the different areas was brought up in the duration of scheduling and planning to meet the required standard as per inspection and quality management plan with the help of the Leyton Construction Philippine Incorporated. The Nakuta Industries and Lockwell Systems with High Performance Solutions Incorporated, a local applicator, to successfully close out the project in due time. And now we go to the closing process of the project, which consists of the final deliverables, the releasing of the documents, and the post-implementation review. Final deliverables is the City of Dreams Manila itself with the gross floor area of 216,413.56 square meters with 6 hotel towers and 60,000 to 80,000 square meters of shopping mall called the Shops at the Boulevard and the theme park called Dreamplay. Now, the releasing of documents is now done and it is handed to the owners of the City of Dreams Manila which are the Melco Resorts and Entertainment and Bell, Bell Corporation. The post-implementation review is the last phase wherein the DCI conducted a review to check how the project went and evaluate whether the project objectives were met.